Hey everybody, I'm Carly the Shitty Blogger. Um, I really have no excuse for why I keep like, basically doing every other Tuesday. I just get, I'll be like, once in it, and I'll like go on YouTube to find something and I'm like, oh. Right. But, um, today I'm going to be talking about All Time Low, well, and I decided that each Tuesday I'm going to go through a different one of their albums. So this week I'm going to start with three words to remember in dealing with the end. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, and I don't think I have all the songs left. Like I might, but everything, all their old stuff is just a huge jump of mess. Um, so this one has four songs. At least the first one that I tracked down, Shady did. So if I miss any, feel free to comment and tell me and all that kind of stuff. So basically, we have. Hit the light, last light home, memory to get like photographs, and the next best thing. This is Blink-182. Like, you can tell that they really, really love it. Blink-182, Meek on Glory, like, you can really hear all of those in every song. Um, my personal favorite is Memories to get like photographs. I think that's one. I don't know. My brain's not watching today, but there's where it says, um, Our love is a barrel of a gun, so tell me am I on the right side, or something like that. That's really good. And also, at one point, I think it's towards the end, Jack does a scream. And it's not a usual Jack, like, oh, I'm just a big ass scream. It's like, oh. And so, what's that? What are you doing? So, I, know, I really like that one. This is also short. We can do, let's see, here's a party scene. Now the version that I have, I think I have like random shit just thrown in there so it would have album artwork. Um, there's a lot of them on the party scene that they took in the revamp and they added it to put up or shut up. So, I don't know. What do I about that? Circles? None of these are in order. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I'm sorry. All my old all time low, like, three words and then the party scene are just a jumbled mess of shit. Um, circles, I can't do the one just yet. Party scene, lullabies, hometown heroes, national nobody, Tuesday summer, break out, break out, and run some life. Um, I really fucking love this scene because it's just so, like, raw. Like, this is, damn, how old are they? They were, like, still in high school, I think, when they did this. And I love listening to this CD and then listening to. You know, nothing personal and dirty work like the later ones and think how much they change. How this one is just so basic almost, you know what I mean? And I really love listening to the lyrics just thinking about it. Like, you know, they're all in high school. That's one of the things they say. It's just brilliant. Like, lullabies. For those of you who aren't huge all time well fans or don't like really know all time well, it's about um, Alex Gaskar's brother Daniel who committed suicide. So that song, like, on its own is chilling. Um, that one is also on Put Up or Shut Up. And Breakout Breakout is also on Put Up or Shut Up. Um, Running From Life is also on Put Up or Shut Up. I believe that's it. Let me quick check. Put Up. Yeah, Lullabies, Breakout Breakout, Running From Life. Oh, and the party scene. Yeah. The party scene, um, a lot of the songs that are the same on the two albums are just a little bit more raw from one album to the next. There's not a lot changed. They're a bit more acoustic and not as like, processed because I don't think they're really, like, super professionally done. Um, I really love And We Say Summer. I'm having trouble with lyrics tonight. It, there's just lyrics that don't smile like you don't give a damn about the consequences. Oh, hell yeah, like we say summer, that's a good summer song. It's just in the, uh, the title, the word summer, not just because of that. Um, Break Out, Break Out is also really, really good. Just on both CDs, just listen to the lyrics. Um, let's talk about Running from Lions. It's my favorite song in the whole entire freaking freaking world. Um, I wish I, because I have shitty, like, built in webcam. I'm trying to save up my money to buy a really nice external one, but who knows? I really like shoes. 
in CDs and clothes. But anyway, um, Running From Lions on the party scene is so different than the one on Put Up or Shut Up. If I could, like, show you the window that my iTunes is open right now, you would see, like, you know, you know, whatever, a decent amount of plays for everything. You get done Running From Lions, and it's 595 plays. No joke. There's my Minnesota accent. Oh, wow. Um, so, as you can tell, it's my favorite song. Not only are the lyrics just gorgeous, but I just love this version better than the version of Put Up or Shut Up. This one, it's acoustic, and the drums don't come in until like the last 45 seconds in the end, and it's just, it's so amazing. Ugh. And it's like, I can really hear the harmonies, and it's just so good. I don't know. Um, I'll talk about more differences between the two of them when I talk up next Tuesday, when I talk about Put Up or Shut Up. Um, but yeah. And I really like the, the songs that didn't make it onto Put Up or Shut Up, like... All of them are a lot of fun. I can't go into step. It's really fun. I don't know. It's just they're all really good. Even the album out artwork. You can hear my story. I remember at one point I like, couldn't tell what it was. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Then I look back and it's a guy and a girl walking. I probably stop. But um, that's it for my all-time low Tuesday. Next week I will do the same thing. Or put up a shut up. I'll just figure out. Keep doing that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will try to remember next Tuesday, so I won't be such an asshole.